Brandon Carter, after watching this, I went and browsed through some of the Game Chasers comments on videos over the past week. There were a couple things I noticed within the five minutes I was reading. First, there were a lot of thumbs down on the videos and a lot of comments talking about the negative trolls. Lo and behold, I couldn't find but one negative comment. How could you delete comments that are critical of your idea and turn the comments into an echo chamber? If I had an investment idea and ignored any questions and concerns raised, I would rightfully be uh, thought of and dismissed as a charlatan or a con artist. Second, I read people defending them saying, I've backed all their Blu-ray slash DVD Kickstarters and they have always delivered. This is very concerning to me and raises a bunch of red flags. I used to make DVDs in the mid-2000s and it was cheap back then, but let's say for some reason you need funds to start making your Blu-rays. After the first Kickstarter, why wouldn't you invest some of your profit into making the next collection instead of crowdfunding it? It shows they do not even believe in themselves and are just milking their fans for every dime they can get. If people continue to give them money, they will never stop asking. Why can't they sell some of those games they chase down if this movie is their dream? Better yet, here's a way to finance it uh, without parting with your precious uh, YouTube backdrops. Go chase down duplicates of games you already have, flip them, put it on YouTube, and use that flip and the ad revenue and pay for it yourselves. If you're paying for it with your own money, I guarantee a better product will be a result. Well, there's many. Many ways for them to um, get the money up for the movie that I can think of at the top of my head. Um, now, one, of course, would be to sell off some of the game collection. I know it would be hurt and be painful for them to sell off some of that collection, but, you know, in one video, Billy's holding up a copy of Little Samson, okay? Now, Little Samson, was that, going for like a thousand bucks, something like that, okay? He's holding up Little Samson, and you know what? I, I think I screen capped the picture, but believe me, there's a video where he's holding up Little Samson. If this dude was self-aware, he would understand that it's a bad look. It's a bad look to be holding up a copy of a game that, heck, he might have multiple copies of it. You're holding up that copy of Little Samson, and you're not thinking, hey, this kind of looks bad because I'm holding a $1,000 Nest card in my hand, and I got all these games behind me. You know, that's a $1,000 game. Does he have 94 more thousand dollar games bingo sell the games and you're the game chasers all right some people would pay you double for games because they're meeting the game chasers i know there's a lot of people out there that would give you a lot more than the asking price of all your games if you would say oh i don't know you know take a road trip and go out and meet people imagine that you know imagine going out and meeting some of your fans that would be really excited Maybe, you know, autographing, you know, one of their t-shirts or their forehead or, you know, something like that or, you know, their boob if they're a chick. Imagine that. And that would be kind of fun going on a road trip, selling off your collection, right? It, you could make a huge video of it. You could say, you know, we're the game chasers and we're making the painful sacrifice. We're selling off half of our collection.